Hello everybody, this is Carol welcoming you back to Light Spring Glen this 5th of August 2021 and there has been a well, I don't know maybe two months since the last video um, it hadn't really started out that I would take such a break from creating these videos but this summer has been not as I originally had thought it might be, but um, life is what happens while you're busy making plans. So, <laughs> But it seemed really time to say hello, um, offer some sights and sounds. Uh, it's pretty quiet. Maybe a little bit of this one of the streams that comes into the pond and some bugs and some insects <laughs> may be greeting you. Well, certainly the sparkle of the water does. So I thought I'd come out with the video, say hello this August 5th. It's a Thursday and take you for a little bit of a walk and catch you up on this really beautiful summer morning. It's been a whole week of blue skies and beautiful puffy cumulus clouds which at the moment are not visible. Maybe there'll be some later. Um, and on from there I'll keep it hard to know sometimes as I've done these videos since a year ago January. I've recently burned up a pile of brush here, so I'm showing that off in a little bit of... Uh, I'm so glad I finally got to that, too, to talk to you. So, I'll, oops, okay. I need to remind myself barefoot that I am, that here where I just had the burn pile in this fire ring, there probably are some prickly things left on the lawn. So, yes. The videos of a year ago were coming out about, well, for a while in the midst of the uh, the real intensity of the lockdown, especially as I could come outdoors. I, I was making these at least twice a month and for a while making them every week, uh, something I felt I could offer to the wider world in the midst of the pandemic, the severity of it a year ago. Not that there hasn't been... Um, increasing concern in this summer of 2021. If you're a person who has watched these videos, uh, welcoming you again to this beautiful place I call home and hoping that this is finding you well and I hope vaccinated. I'll just preach a tiny bit and I'll let go. Um, and for those of you who might be new to these videos, uh, thank you for watching, for turning in to see what goes on here in this place I am blessed to call home. In August, we have moved from the, um, the um, well, it's very quiet. You're only going to really hear me talking with maybe a bug or two flashing by. Um, the birds of the spring have reached a point in their family time nesting and raising their young that um, the juveniles and their parents are taken off to a quieter place to rest up. The parents in particular deserve this break before migration, those songbirds that join us for the summer months. And it was a wonderful all the, I, I've been a bird watcher all my life, so I, I look forward to what is the um, this chorus of beautiful birds in the spring that um, are busy setting up their territories and um, attracting mates and nesting. And it's a beautiful chorus of bird song for a couple of months. And when it grows quieter, as it does this time of year, it uh, makes me feel a little wistful, but I know it's all in the uh, in the natural cycle of things. What you're seeing here in the flowers are a little bit of goldenrod. 
which if you're from this part of the country, you know is a early fall flower, although it's only August the 5th. And these beautiful purple flowers, let's see if I can come closer here along the pond, are called Queen of the Meadow. And then goldenrod, so we have royalty growing here. <laughs> so let's see, some sort of random notes, but I go back to ask and hope that um, for those of you who've watched these before, that um, in this summer of 2021, even with the concerns, and rightfully so, of safe gatherings and travel, um, that we are more able to be out uh, of doors. Uh, my favorite mode of transportation is via foot. Let's see, what can I do? Show you my, well, I'll show you. <laughs> I am barefoot, so on occasion if this bobbles more than uh, I would like it to as we're walking around. I don't know it's because I'm barefoot and on occasion barefootness um, does bring you up to something that uh, is a little uncomfortable underfoot. I'd rather have the connection with Mother Earth uh, directly as it is. And up there on that random piece of wood is the sole cat of the land, Miss Tiger Lily. A year ago, we still had her wonderful partner and my sweet, sweet Angus roaming around. And we are making our way through this summer without him. And uh, it's been an interesting summer. I think partly the explanation of lack of videos. Um, since I really prefer to make these out of doors to share this beautiful place with you, um, we have had quite a rainy summer. The pond that you see before you, that is um, unusually high with its water. It's, it's a little hard to tell because, you know, we're in summer and all of the grasses and the plants have grown up and I doubt you can see it. This pond is itself not very deep. It, um, the farm pond of this one-time farm, and um, it has been such amount of rain at times, it has been nearly to the top of the bank. Um, and we're going to walk around. We're going to end up, if it doesn't seem to be getting too long, over near the waterfall. Um, okay, again, some explanation of the lengthiness from one video to the next. Uh, but it's been, you know, I started by saying it wasn't quite the summer. I was, oh, there's some minnows down there. I'm seeing them. <laughs> it's, um, it's a very live pond. And of course, receiving all the waters of the land that rises up behind those trees, um, it is the, um, the gathering point for all kinds of little streams and such that come in beyond what you see and where we started out back there at the corner of the yard, the other side of the wooden swing. And then uh, through the seven acres, which is the property that I technically am the owner of, certainly the steward of, it flows down through Light Spring Glen. Um, I was laid low for a little bit by the need to be an antibiotic from a tick bite that fortunately, um, I don't know if it would have developed as that, but it led to another little side effect. Uh, my lawnmower broke down. I had to do a lot of mowing with a push mower. <laughs> and there was a lot of rain, so I couldn't come out here to um, show you off some of the Queen Anne's lace here, too. To speak with you. So, one thing and another, and then there was a, a whole lot of snapping turtles. Another story. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I enjoyed certainly all I could of the weather of being outside. Oh, I know what I wanted to do, and it's not happening. I wanted to have my walking stick when I came all the way here, so you might get some more bobbles than I would have liked. But the best laid plans, as they say. In the shade and the trees that you're looking down upon, hopefully the sound of the water coming through too. 
the stream here at Light Spring Glen carrying off the water is gathered in the pond down through Willow Brook. This doesn't really have a name, so it's just the stream of Light Spring Glen. Willow Brook to Carr Creek, Carr's Creek to the Susquehanna River. So I'm sending off these waters to the ocean. The Susquehanna River, one of the largest rivers of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So I check in with all of you, hoping your summer is wherever it is you call home. And we are in these, what has been rainy months, thinking often and wishing there was a way we could send some of this water and relief of rain to the West Coast. But prayers to all who are, all beings who are being so impacted by by the fires on, in the West and the heat. It has been a very temperate summer. Um, really a beautiful one in so many respects. A little bit wet, but you can see the lushness of the green. It's always beautiful and green, but there is a lushness that um, has been ours to enjoy. And a week or two ago, some heavy rain, if I had come over here with you in the camera, um, you would hardly have been able to have heard me. The water flowing out over this waterfall in Cascade, down below. I'm going to pick this up so you can see a little bit more. And it was roaring, just roaring. Um, up, anyway. I thought of coming out for with a video, I, but uh, anyway, here we are today. It hasn't rained for at least four days, and so it's quite quiet. Um, pond outlet here. It probably is a little obvious. So what I'm going to do, my intention was to wind up where I like to go around the pond. I had expected to have my walking stick to step over these stones. So instead, I'll show off my foot. And my barefootness. I think we'll manage. So, hoping not to. Anyway, it's pretty safe. Well, it's not slippery to cross here when the stones are dry as they are. And we'll finish up our reunion video by coming over here into the woods. Two years ago, my first videoing efforts were weekly videos, short ones. Uh, before the high-speed internet came to this end of the world <laughs> that were commemorative uh, celebrations of Mary Oliver's poetry. Um, Mondays, Summer Mondays with Mary. And on my YouTube channel, if you're not aware of them, um, they're all there in their own playlist. So, I will... I hope the one, uh, maybe the one for this week, certainly the one that's been coming to mind today, is her poem. Oh, there are more mosquitoes this year, so they want to come into the scene here too, at least to bedevil me a little bit. Uh, her poem, Sleeping in the Forest. So I will put its link in the notes below this video. And I can tell I won't be too comfortable standing here talking with you. Everything has its season. And the mosquitoes, which are usually not too numerous, with the rain that we have this year, certainly have been quite a bit in evidence, as they are right now. So <laughs> I am going to bring us to a conclusion. Uh, whoops. Okay, there's my barefoot nest, but I did manage to get across without too much of a, uh, you know, bobbling back and forth. Um, so we'll see if these videos do become something of a more regular sharing with you. I enjoy making them. Other things have kind of crowded out the creative energy that they require, and we'll see if now they come back. It is August the 5th, and in three days we will be 
going through uh, an annual cosmic, um, what do I want to say, um, coming up with, well, it's called the Lion's Gate, the Lion's Gate of August, the 8-8. It's quite significant in terms of its cosmic influence on us. And um, I would suggest you look it up and see where it is. You might end up finding more information if you're not aware of it. But it is a beautiful turning point. It certainly is that. Uh, offering an opportunity to uh, leave things behind that are no longer of service and to detach from them and turn to the future and bring forward um, more ways of moving into the fullness of who and what you are, especially in these times. I'm hearing a warbler singing in the distance. Birds do still make their presence known, uh, but not in the vocal sharings to the extent it was a month or so ago. I came out here last night at dusk to listen to a wood thrush singing almost as much as uh, it would have been like a spring song, but it was beautiful. And I sat over there on that log and just soaked up its beautiful music, beautiful wood thrush. So if you've come this far in today's video with me, um, thanks so much for joining me. It's wonderful if you would click the like below, uh, subscribe if you haven't done that, and Ring that little bell to get your notices that you will see there as well. So with much love from me and all of the magical ones here at Light Spring Glen for today, for the Lion's Gate, and for the weeks to come of summer, take good care. Much love from Light Spring Glen.